Welcome home, man. Well, City College teachers, staff, and students were in for a surprise when they came back from winter break. Alex miller Press Story is here with all the details. Hi, Alex. Hello, uh, Laura, Justin. Actually, it was a rather depressing surprise. The campus of City College may have been closed during winter recess, but that didn't stop thieves from breaking in. Burglars targeted the C building, making off with a brand new camera from the radio TV film department, hand tools from the theater scene shop, and get this, Every single speaker in the Seville Theater was stolen. The theater has perfect acoustics and you can talk without needing microphones or, an or anything like that. But if you want to do a show, a concert, any kind of a live performance, show movies, you need a sound equipment. We do not have speakers for the theater right now. Rented speakers will be used temporarily to help keep uh, up with the, the schedule. Um, in the Seville Theater. New plates and lock cores have been installed to replace those damaged when the back door of the Seville Theater and the prop room were pried open. The total cost of all the items stolen is estimated to be over $26,000. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, actually, there are two questions that um, department heads are grappling with tonight. One is how in the world are they going to replace all this equipment? And two, um, can they improve security in this atmosphere of severe budget cuts? Right, of course. Yeah, it's a horrible story. And um, of course, if anyone out there is watching and you have any information, please do contact Campus Police. Thanks, Thanks Alex. So Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Classes are full and students are back on campus. The rush is on to find a club here at City College. Joe Beth DeVera has the latest. The club scene is underway here at City College as students gather at Gordon Quad. But this isn't just your ordinary club scene. Juan Carlos, one event organizer, explains Club Rush. Club Rush is an opportunity to get to the new students that come to class. Like, I personally sort of like see people running around, they don't know about food pantry, they don't know about the Moja, they don't know about ICC, they don't know about, you know, they don't know about the clubs. If you want to know how to sign up and where to begin, Catalina Moreno, president of Inner Club Council, will point you in the right direction. First of all, the Inner Club Council is where all the clubs here at City College meet. And what we do, we are the liaison between the clubs and the student government. Another club on campus, Umoja, aims to bring diverse students together. Bonziner Jones, club president, tells us more. Umoja stands for unity in Swahili, and we like to promote um, black unity on campus. So our club is mainly African American, but we are a minority. The ICC also plans events and works together with other clubs on campus. You know, planning ahead meeting that we had before the semester started. We're also planning for um, next uh, month. We're collaborating with the Emoja Club, holding a three-day event on Black History Month. We're getting speakers from the outside to come in. So if you're ready to get your club on, visit Club ICC. With photojournalist Ivany Villalobos, I'm Joe Beth Devera, New Scene. And if you would like more information about the three-day event, or Club Rush, log on to sdcity.edu and click Student Services. A famous Chicano theater group called Culture Clash is known for its funny and political plays. They will be at the Seville Theater as part of the World Cultures program. The group has performed all over the country from New York to Los Angeles and lucky for us they will be coming here in San Diego. Uh, American Night, the Ballad of Juan Jose is set to debut at the Seville Theater next Saturday, February 8th at 11 p.m. The City College talent show, Talent in the City, is handing out 600 big ones to its first place winner. Runners up will also receive monetary prizes and awards. The big night is March 10th at 7 p.m. The public and students are welcome to participate in the show. Tickets are just $10 in advance and $12 at the door. Check out a few of the acts. What's up, everybody? Y'all having some fun? Today's my birthday. I just turned 21. It hasn't been a long time. It's been a long, a long time. The 
the San Diego Blood Bank is on the road and making a stop at City College next week. A blood drive sponsored by the Blood Bank and City College's Student Health Services will be held Wednesday, February 8th, beginning at 9 a.m. and continuing on until 3 p.m. at the Gorton Quad. Donors must have valid identification and are encouraged to eat a good meal and consume plenty of fluids. Uh, to avoid waits, you can schedule an appointment at sandiegobloodbank.org. Use sponsor code SDCC. Today is the deadline for City College students to receive, pay for, and process ad codes. It is also the last day to drop classes with a no W recorded. This Monday, February 6th, will, the, will be the last day students can receive refunds for enrollment or non-resident tuition. And Super Bowl Sunday is upon us. Mark Ruiz is here to tell us how the teams are getting ready for the big game. How are you, Mark? Yeah, wonderful. How about yourself, Laura? Everything's wonderful. I am ready to go ahead and hit Sunday. In case you folks did not know, the Super Bowl is this Sunday with the New England Patriots taking on the New York Giants. This will be Tom Brady's fifth appearance in the big dance and Eli Manning's second trip. The two met previously in the 2008 Super Bowl with Eli coming out on top. Tom Brady is considered to be many to be the best quarterback in the NFL. So how do you stop the best? New York Giants defensive end Justin Tuck has a plan to hit Tom Brady often. Even with Pro Bowl tight end Rob Gronkowski not at 100%, when your other weapons consist of Dion Branch, Wes Welker, and Aaron Hernandez, Brady will have a pretty good chance on scoring often, even when he is pressured. Game time is at 3.30 on NBC. On to Wes Welker with the Super Bowl two days away. There is an ex-Charger making his second appearance to the big show this Sunday. Starting all pro Patriot wide receiver, as said before, Wes Welker was let go by the Bolts just three days after the 2004 season opener. The leading receptionist in the league since 2006 will have his work cut out come this Sunday. Moving on to Lakerville. We go to the, with their lack of offense, besides Kobe and Pal Gasol, the Lakers are seeking the talents of two players, free agents Kenyon Kmart Martin and Gilbert Arenas. During his 10-year career in the NBA, Kmart averaged 13 points, seven rebounds, and 1.2 steals a game. Gilbert Arenas, one of the best scorers in the NBA a few years ago, before his weapons charge suspension from the league. If signed, the Lakers hope Arenas and Martin could help out the struggling team. Showtime may be missing from Lakerville, but, <clears throat> but nighttime reigns supreme at the Harry West Gym. Traveling with five, just the, over a minute to play, freshman Igua Mojos hits the deep three from the corner, followed by Priscilla Contreras, 15-foot jumper to tie it at 54. And with 2.2 seconds left, Onya Akpa was fouled and scored with the winning free throw. The Lady Knights pulled off one point victory over the conference rival, the Miramar Jets. The Lady Knights are in sole possession of first place in the Pacific Coast Athletic Conference. The Lady Knights next home game is next Friday when they face Imperial Beach. And hopefully, the parties are going to be as smooth as Tom Brady's hair, so I am just gearing up for happiness and joy. How about you, Laura? Go oh, I, no, I'm, I've the, I'm going to a, a party just for, like, craft beer and Super Bowl, and it'll all be paired together. should oh be fun. Goodness gracious, that yeah. sounds wonderful. <laughs> that Thank you, Mark. That sounds wonderful. Thanks, Thanks. Mark. All right. <laughs> Coming up in entertainment, we'll take a look back at the life and achievements of former Soul Train host Don Cornelius. Also, which commercials will steal the spotlight during Sunday's big game? We'll give you a preview after the break. You realize that 49 million Americans struggle with hunger? That's one out of every six Americans. These people are around us every day. They're our friends, they're our coworkers, their kids go to school with our kids. Sometimes we're not even aware that they're struggling. This problem is closer than you think. So is the solution. Give a gift of meals to a family in need. Visit feedingamerica.org slash give a meal today. 